In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the ramp switching functionality on the ATV320 drive. Now, there's two ways of going about this. Um, one is using a physical logic input or digital input to toggle on that terminal to when you want to change the, the ramp up time frame, whether it's acceleration or deceleration. The second is using a frequency threshold uh, to toggle that secondary XL and D cell times. So let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and uh, program or at least go to that functionality to talk about that in more detail. Uh, from your main menu, you want to press enter. You want to scroll down into the configuration. Enter on full. Go down to fun menu. Enter on full. Go down to fun. F U N dash, and then you want to go down to R P T Robert Papa Tom, right there. Okay, so the first parameter uh, you want to look for here is R P S. Okay, R P S, and that's the um, this is the R P S is basically where you toggle the RAM switching using a logic. So you can, as you can see here. These can be programmed from logic input one through whatever, um, including your network settings. And that's one way of doing it. That's the first way of doing it, RPS. is assigning to logic to toggle that secondary ramp down and ramp up times. The other one I mentioned is they're using a frequency threshold. And that's parameter FRT, Frank Romeo Tom. So let's go ahead and find that. Here I do. And like I said, this is a frequency threshold. So let's just say we make this uh, just to give it a good number. Let's make it 30 hertz. So what that means is, from zero to 30 hertz, it's going to follow your first acceleration deceleration times as you're programmed under Simply Start. But after 30 hertz, it's going to follow the ACC uh, and the DEC2 number twos right here, AC2 and DE2. And these are in seconds as you can program them. So that's basically how that works. Again, the first Excel and D cell times are in, in this menu as well, right here, ACC and DEC. But you notice the other ones, the secondary ones, are labeled as DE2 or an AC2. So this is basically how you program the ATV320 drive to do ramp switching, either by using a digital input or by using a frequency threshold to toggle the secondary ramp up and ramp down times.